Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. I'm at the beach today with my friends and uh, I have things to test. <laughs> and I have the Mad Dog Coil. That's a big coil, it's for 80 meters, it's made in Australia. And uh, when I got this, and I, I didn't buy this, I got it for free, but uh, I'm not paid for this review. But I have to say, I looked at it and I'm like, this is pretty darn well built. And it, it you know, it feels pretty, pretty strong, pretty sturdy. Especially uh, the way the, um, the clip here is, uh, is set up. Very nice. And uh, we have a BNC. <laughs> you know, I, I much prefer BNCs uh, for uh, connections, uh, RF connections uh, portable. So I really prefer this and uh, I've, told, uh, I've told Chameleon before, uh, you know, use BNCs and they never did. But uh, my dog calls does and I really like that. You have uh, two connections here. You have one for the, uh, the hot lead, basically the center of the coax, which goes to the coil, of course, and you have the ground. Uh, you can put a counterpoise here. On the other side, you have an adapter here for uh, 3 8 times 24. That's a double female here. It's included in the package. Also in the package, you have three of these uh, clips here, these rings that just you can unscrew like this and you change the height of your connection. So basically here I have the full coil and if I bring it up here, Basically, I reduce the length of the coil, which is for the higher bands. And this will work, of course, up to, uh, I mean, down to 80 meters, 3.5 megahertz. My friend uh, Xavier just gave me uh, this coil here for, uh, that's for a Pac-12 antenna. It's made in China and uh, you can see it's, it's just not the same quality. You know, it just moves a bit. It's a little, it's flimsier basically. And, uh, it's just not the same, not quite as good as the uh, Mad Dog coil. So again, I'm very happy with the, uh, the, the quality of the build of this antenna. It's really, really nice. You're not supposed to unscrew the, the caps, of course. And it's, it's just very well made, guys. This coil is made to be used with a 5.2 meter whip. This will make a pretty short antenna for 80 meters, really. Uh, of course, it's not going to be as efficient as a half wave wire. That's for sure. We know that. But um, the coil will allow you to have a 5 meter antenna on 80 meters. And that's absolutely amazing. I brought my uh, Xigu G90, so I have 20 watts and that should be plenty with a uh, compromise antenna. Of course, you can also use the coil with a wire that you can just attach here, a, a long wire or, you know, seven, eight meter wire up a mast and uh, have much better efficiency that way. You don't have to use a whip necessarily, uh, but you can, you have the choice between the two, a whip or a wire. And lastly, I am going to use the, uh, the spike from Chameleon here. Uh, just to uh, to put the coil in there into the ground or I have uh, some kind of support here over there at a uh, where the trash cans are <laughs> and uh, That's it. You just put it in the ground um, I have some wires for a counterpoise that I'm going to check. I don't have a I don't really have long enough wires for for this project did this test here, but um, oh Well, we'll see how it works. Uh, you can either attach the counterpoise here a permanent one or uh, put one in with a banana plug uh, right there uh, on this uh, banana connector. The uh, G90 is plugged in, but honestly, at this time of day, uh, which is 11.30 uh, a.m., I don't expect any, any contact on 80 meters, of course. Um, the uh, SWR is good, a 1.5 to 1, even with my uh, crappy uh, counterpoises, uh, counterpoise wires, radials. Um, I should really have uh, 40 meters of wire, <laughs> but I do not, far from it. So I just have a few meters and... Uh, it's just a strict minimum here. All right, guys, so apparently there is a problem with my uh, G90. 
it's not transmitting and I don't know why I haven't figured it out uh, I searched it searched the menus and everything the mic gain is okay it's it uses the uh, the mic input not the line input and it's just not working so I plugged in my uh, USDX now that's only 5 watts but it does work on uh, 80 meters I just tested it with uh, Xavier and uh, it does transmit all right so we're going to test the uh, mad dog coil with the usdx and we'll see how that works i'm using the uh, retevis uh, microphone the hk008 and uh, you've seen the video i'm in the video uh, where i uh, make the uh, connection the uh, the jacks for the usdx and this microphone it's a speaker microphone once again and it works absolutely great the usdx is here I did make a uh, 3D printed uh, kind of uh, uh, sunshade here uh, with the uh, top of the cover, but I still can't see the screen at all <laughs> if I don't put uh, my uh, jacket on top of my head uh, to shade the uh, the sun. So, but it works. Oui, bien reçu, Marco. Hein. Bah, écoute, euh, je t'appelle sur le relais là, mais euh, mais là, je t'entends très très bien sur le 80 mètres. Hein. Très très bien, j'ai pas de signal évidemment, mais euh, donc tu me dis que tu me reçois euh, euh, au niveau du bruit, hein, c'est ça So it's barely receiving me, but of course I'm QRP, and we always had problems uh, from his location to here. Ouais, bien reçu Marco, hein. je te contacte sur le relais, hein. je te contacte sur le relais, QSL. Ah, tu repasses sur le relais, ouais Oui, affirmatif, c'est ça. It works. Ok, super. Ah, bah, au moins, tu me reçois quand même sur le 80. Hein. Bah, écoute, là, tu vois, avec un peu plus de BF, euh, un peu plus de BF, pour le coup, je te, je te reçois quand même, malgré le fait qu'il y ait quand même une montagne qui nous sépare, et malgré le fait que tu n'es que 5 watts. Je te reçois quand même, c'est plutôt pas mal pour le coup. Hein. D'ailleurs, je vais. Euh, so it's still amazing that uh, he gets me uh, locally here on 80 meters because usually we have a hard time ok bien reçu de f4 whisky bravo yankee je te reprends sur le r3 all right guys so it, it works and i'm amazed because uh, i'm qrp i probably have less than five watts here uh, probably three or four no more than that i would guess uh with the usdx on a five meter whip on 80 meters <laughs> so that's as i'd say that's pretty darn good Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, 5-9, number 141. Thank you very much, 5-9 uh, here in Antibes, uh, QSL. 4-7. Uh, again, again, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, by number? 4-7. Four, 4-7, seven. Four, seven, number 47, is correct? Correct, uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, thank you very much and good luck. 047 is correct? Correct, correct. Thank you very much, good luck, cheers yet, making the 7 Delta Echo Fusion Contest. Northern Ireland <laughs> with the USDX and just a few watts. I, I don't even know how much it outputs, honestly, uh, probably less than 5. And the uh, 5 uh, meter whip antenna with the uh, Mad Dog coil. On 20 meters, uh, but of course uh, I'm not really using the coil because uh, I'm, I have the uh, connector at the, the top of the coil, so I'm bypassing it. And uh, but it's you know it works. I mean I have to say I'm surprised, especially by the USDX. And uh, the antenna worked awesomely well uh, on 80 meters. Of course there was difficult contact with my friend uh, Marco, which lives uh, not very far from here. <laughs> but there is a mountain between here and there. And usually we can't make contact at all. So it works here. It, it actually, we did make contact and it's usually we fail. <laughs> I, I can't even remember. I think we've made contact in using CW before. 
but uh, not with uh, voice mode. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty pleased with it. I would like to test it with a long wire to see if I can make uh, more uh, DX and you know more distant contacts on 80 meters and maybe uh, try the uh, the military net uh, Sunday mornings uh, on 80 uh, the VMARS net uh, I would like to try that uh, that's for another time but uh, so far so good guys uh, really pleased with being able to actually use 80 meters with a 5 meter whip uh, usually I can't use 80 meters because my antennas are too big and if I use if I want to use an unfed halfway for instance it's 132 feet long uh, where do you put that if you don't have the space I mean uh, even here at the beach I could not do that because uh, there's not enough support anywhere to uh, to have that so uh, I could use of course uh, uh, my uh, 12 meter spider beam mast and actually I plan on doing that with uh, with maybe like a 10 or 11 meter wire using the mad dog coil uh, which would allow me to uh, again use 80 meters with a more efficient antenna but the 5 meter whip does work and I have to say I'm pretty surprised S7, S9. Awesome. Merci Marco, hein. bah, encore une fois je, je te reçois très très bien hein. Et puis là ça marche, ça marche pas mal du coup sur, euh, sur les 40 mètres hein. Voilà je te rends le micro à, à toi de F4 euh, Whisky, bravo Yankee Alright guys, so uh, I guess uh, my uh, G90 uh, bit the dust <laughs> That's pretty sad uh, Maybe I'll find what the problem is But uh, it doesn't seem to transmit anymore Fortunately, the USDX saved the day <laughs> and uh, the uh, Mad Dog coil on 80 meters uh, worked pretty well. So I will test it uh, with a long wire and again with the whip but uh, at a better time for 80 meters because uh, this is just not the right time. It's middle of the day. I mean, right now it's a little bit later, of course. It's uh, 4.30 p.m. But uh, 80 meters is a night band and uh, not a day band. So, but nevertheless, uh, I made a good contact with my friend Marco F40XR on 80. So uh, that was positive, and uh, the coil seems to be working well. So you will see it again because I want to test it more in different situations. But so far, so good. I'm pretty happy with it, and I'll put the links down below. You guys have a good one. All right, because this website does cost me much more than what it brings me, I did sign up for an affiliate program with EMP Shield. We are all concerned about EMP's, you know, electromagnetic pulse, especially for radio equipment. And EMP Shield does provide protection for your whole home, for your vehicle and for your radios. Yes, for your antennas. I was a bit skeptical, I have to admit, but after looking at all the documentation they have and the uh, military testing they did, and those devices they uh, they offer are extremely fast to protect you uh, against EMPs, but also, of course, lightning. So it does look pretty legit to me. I got you a coupon for $50 off at EMP Shield, so don't forget to use it. It's radio prepper in one word or lower case. By the way, do use the link down below uh, rather than going to the site directly. That gives me more brownie points and you do save 50 bucks and I get a kickback. So don't hesitate to have a look at their website. I am learning more about it myself and all the products that uh, they offer. And I'll tell you the way the world is going right now. I think it's a good precaution. 
the solar cycle is uh, coming back and there will be a lot of solar activity so we could get a natural EMP that's always a threat and you want to protect your electronics your toaster your washing machine your oven everything that has an electronic chip in it is at risk and you need a device that's fast enough to ground everything in nanoseconds so that when the power comes back <laughs> you still have your electric and electronic devices once again the coupon is radio prepper one word lowercase and that will give you $50 off.